I know, right? Like, being a teacher is so interesting. Good morning, y'all. It's Monday again. I am in a pretty good mood because yesterday the Broncos won. Even though I'm from Philadelphia and don't get me wrong, I love me the Eagles, but my team is the Denver Broncos. They have been my team since I was eight years old. Even though I grew up in Kansas, I've always been a little bit of a weird girl when it comes to sports, but they are my team forever and for always. The time difference is really brutal just because four o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time is 10 o'clock at night Copenhagen time. So yeah, I got in bed last night with my laptop and I watched way more of the game than I should have. I didn't go to bed until like midnight. And then I woke up today and I saw that we won. So I am the happiest Angie today. And I changed my sign that I have in my window to say, let's go Broncos, because I mean, duh. And I'm also in a really good mood because one of the other pre-K assistant teachers had a relative that was in Houston recently, and they ended up bringing me a big bag of Jolly Ranchers. And in addition to the Jolly Ranchers, I also got two of these. And this brand, I know nothing about but it says a French vanilla creamer and really that's all I need. So on top of the Broncos winning and getting some American goodies, today is the best day ever. But anyway, I should probably stop talking about football and food and uh, start getting ready for my day. I do not have anything really planned for art today. And by I don't have anything planned, I do have a plan, but I don't have any of the materials set yet. So in the last like 10 minutes before I go out and get my kids, I'm gonna get ready for our painting project for today. Before art, we are going to have a little bit of a circle time just so I can really lay out the proper procedures for using our paint brushes because I can see I have guys rubbing the bristles and not cleaning the brush between colors. So I really want to break that process down for them today. And then they are going to be doing a painting where I am going to use painter's tape to write their name on the paper and then they'll paint around it. And then when it's dry, we'll peel it off and we'll reveal their letter. Nothing that intense because it is still the beginning of the year and I know it's gonna be a while before we can do more intense projects. But the first bell just rang, so I have like 10 minutes. So that'll give me time to at least cut down the paper and block out a couple of the letters. So I'm gonna do that and I will check in with y'all later. All right, y'all, so I have been on my prep for about half an hour, 40 minutes, I don't even know. But art went really well today. I am really excited to see what these are gonna look like when they're all dry. I feel like I've been running around a lot during this prep. I've been talking to the other teachers and I had to go upstairs to the staff room. How did this just zoom by so quickly? Anyway, I gotta go outside and bring my kids back in from recess and then we're gonna get ready for lunch. Good morning, y'all. It is Tuesday. I left work at about four o'clock yesterday and I don't know, I was feeling really tired because I stayed up way too late to watch the Broncos game on Sunday. So I took a nap 
and then I made dinner and then I really only just watched a couple YouTube videos and then fell asleep. I know, right? Like being a teacher is so interesting. Anyway, it is a little bit after eight o'clock and I have really not set up anything in my room. I am going to uh, peel the tape off of the art project that my class did yesterday. I have a couple of them here. So you can see like they paint all over them and then when I remove the tape to reveal their letter, they look a little bit like this. And I have four of them with the tape removed and also laminated and that means I just have to do this whole stack right here. But the good news is I don't have to waste time actually taping out the letters today because I did all of that yesterday before I left. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes I'm prepared. Yesterday was a little bit on the stressful side just because the timings for the upper PYP lunch changed, which meant that the recess also changed. It ended up moving to our recess time. So we were kind of shocked to see a bunch of fourth and fifth graders outside with the pre-K kids. And a lot of them got really overwhelmed, which is understandable because fourth and fifth graders are so much bigger than them. So we're hoping today, now that we know what to expect, that things will go a lot smoother and that they won't stress me out as much. But anyway, I have to get all this stuff done for the morning. I might not have enough time to get these letters all peeled and laminated, so I might have to do some of that during my prep. I do really wanna be done with this before 12.30 because I am leaving early to go to a doctor's appointment. Nothing too serious, I just have a couple minor chronic issues that I have to periodically go and get checked. But anyway, y'all, I have been blabbering for way too long, so I'm going to set up my room and then try to get these letters done. All right, y'all, so it is like almost 11 and my guys are out for recess and I have a long list of things to do. I need to clean up all the art supplies. It went really well. I had two tables of painting going on instead of one and it was really nice that the kids could take a little bit more time because I wasn't so worried about, oh, the next friend has to come over and do this. But before I clean up the materials, I am going to take the stack of letters that my kids did yesterday and run those really quickly through the laminator. Usually at 11.45, after my guys come in and wash hands, I stay in the canteen with them while they are eating. But today, I think my assistant teacher is going to do that just so I can eat my lunch before I leave for my doctor's appointment and also finish up any cleaning that I didn't get a chance to do. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and get things done. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday. So, I didn't really have time yesterday to check in. After my doctor's appointment, I picked up my prescription, went home, took a nice long nap, and then I woke up, had dinner, and pretty much watched YouTube videos until I passed out again. I don't know what it is, but I have been so, not tired, but just like, lazy and lethargic over the past couple days. The weather is changing right now and I really think that it's making everybody really lethargic. Summer is definitely gone. It is a lot cooler outside. It's maybe around 50 or so Fahrenheit. I can tell that my kids are slowing down a little bit and I'm slowing down a little bit. So the weather is definitely affecting us all. Anyway, I have set up my room. It's maybe like 10 after eight o'clock. What I'm gonna do is peel the tape off of the paintings that the other pre-K four class did yesterday. 
and then I'm gonna have to start setting out the stuff that I'm going to need for the paintings that the three-year-old pre-k is gonna do today. I decided that the three-year-olds were going to finger paint today instead of using brushes just because I know it's gonna take a little bit to establish procedures for them especially. So I think their first experience with painting is just going to be loosey-goosey with the fingers. And since their attention spans are really short, like even shorter than my guys, I have prepared all of their paintings to be half the size of the ones that the Pre-K4s did. So just for a size comparison, the Pre-K4s have been working on an A4 sheet of paper and the Pre-K3s will be working on an A5. So anyway, y'all, I am going to really quick peel that tape off and then it will probably be time for me to go outside and get my guys. Good morning, y'all. It's Thursday. As usual, I didn't check in at the end of the day. I was actually here until four o'clock and I was surprisingly productive. I laminated all of the art projects for this week and I gave them to the other homeroom teachers so they can display them as they see fit. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put them. I feel like I might hang them out in the hallway, but I don't really know. And I was gonna sit down and film a little bit, but I ended up getting super distracted because I got an email from upstairs saying that I got a package and I couldn't really remember ordering anything. But I went upstairs and I grabbed my package and it was like this tiny little rectangle. I'm like, what is in there? But I opened it up and I saw my new water bottle. I ordered it off of Etsy UK. If I remember the shop, I will link it down below if you're curious. They only have this one font choice, but it's super adorable. Since my second rainbow cup was broken, I thought that it was a good idea to order something a little bit more sturdy. And I was going to get just like a regular water bottle, but then I looked at my classroom and was like, I've gotta have some rainbows. And I love this water bottle. I think it's adorable. I'm so happy with it. Definitely worth the money. Anyway, y'all, I am pretty much ready for the day. We do our unit work on Thursday and Friday. So I think what I'm gonna do is bring in a big mirror that we have over here in the little kitchen across the hallway from my classroom. And I think that I'm just gonna separate my kids into groups of three or four and we're just going to practice making different faces in the mirror. I did this last year with my kids and they really enjoyed it. We just sat in front of the mirror and I would say like, show me your happy face, show me a sad face, show me an angry face. And then I would speed up the changes. So it would get faster and faster and seeing the kids just switching from happy to sad to angry was really hilarious. But anyway, y'all, I am going to get out of here because I still need to fill up the water in my hand washing station before I go get my guys. All right, y'all, I am home now, and it is, can't see the clock from here, almost seven o'clock. I have been home since maybe five o'clock, so I've just been hanging out with my dog, who I don't know if you can hear, he's trying to get attention, so I am petting him right now, which is why the camera is moving a little bit. I was at work until 
about 4.30. The other two pre-K teachers and I had to go upstairs for a meeting around 2.40 with our coordinator just to talk about learning goals that we are going to need to create for our students and discuss with our students before the parent-teacher conferences in the first week of October. And then at three o'clock, we had another meeting that was really just a miniature surprise party for one of the assistant teachers. It was only about 10 minutes because the assistant teachers were still working in the after school. Our principal actually provided the cake for our little mini celebration and it was a super good cake. I think it was carrot cake. Yeah, it was good. I'm trying to remember what else happened today. It wasn't really that eventful. We didn't get to do the emotions in the mirror, mainly because I didn't have time to drag the mirror out of the kitchen. It is surprisingly heavy, and I think I'm gonna need to do that tomorrow morning when I have more time. We also went up to the library today and our librarian read The Gruffalo out loud to my class, which was awesome because I love that book and my kids always love that book. So I am so glad that we read it together today. And then when I took my kids outside for recess, my assistant teacher and I have our meeting and planning time, which was hijacked by the fact that I got another package today. So we spent a good chunk of our planning time together assembling the cardboard drying rack that I bought from Amazon. I have been wanting a drying rack for the longest time just because when my kids are painting, I really don't have a place to put them so they can dry. This year, I have been putting them in my little dramatic play area, which has meant that I haven't been able to use that during blocks that I'm teaching art. So I am really hoping that having a drying rack will free up that space so I can keep using the dramatic play area and the kitchen area during art classes still so that there are more free play centers available. I am not really expecting that much from this drying rack, mainly because it is cardboard and it will get really dirty, I'm sure, and it will probably warp and I will probably have to replace it with a metal one. But if I wanna do that, I'm gonna have to do a wall mounted one because I have no floor space. But I don't even know why I'm talking about a wall mounted drying rack because first of all, I don't have any money in this year's budget and I really need to talk to my principal before I even consider ordering one. So I'm gonna make some dinner and then I have a bunch of pictures that I need to post to Seesaw for the parents because I don't think I've really posted anything this week. Sometimes I'm really bad at keeping up to date. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It's finally Friday. I fell asleep really early last night, like around nine o'clock, and I woke up super late somehow. I was way later than I usually am. I didn't get here until after eight o'clock today. So I have kind of scrambled to get my room ready. I still haven't brought the mirror into the classroom. I really need to do that before I go outside and get my kids in like five minutes. So what I had planned to do yesterday, breaking them up into small groups so that they could practice different emotions in the mirror, we are going to be doing that today. My assistant teacher is currently out of town until Tuesday, so we have a substitute that my kids already know really well and they love them quite a lot. So I'm really excited to have the substitute lead the emotion activity with the mirror. My kids have PE today, so I do get an extra 45 minutes of planning today. And I don't know if I'm gonna film during then because I have a laundry list of things that I need to get done. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna stop talking because the first bell rang, which means that I only have a couple minutes to grab the mirror from the kitchen and then get my kids.
All right, y'all. So once again, I did a horrible job of checking in what else is new there. It is actually Saturday now. So I was actually at work until like four o'clock yesterday. I just completely lost track of time. And first of all, missed a meeting with my principal completely, which I feel terrible about and need to reschedule. But I also completely forgot to check in. All in all, this week was pretty great. I feel like I am really starting to find the groove art teacher wise. It is a big change for me just because I am used to being self-contained. But I'm really enjoying being able to see all three classes and I am really enjoying being able to teach art almost exclusively. But let's be real, that's what I went to school for, that is what I've always been hoping to teach. So even just getting the littlest taste of that this year is just amazing. But anyway, y'all, I am going to wrap up this week's vlog because I have dinner plans really soon. So I guess I'll see y'all in the next vlog. That is a the good stuff. It's cold out now and I have to wear pants. Hey, hi. Hi. Ugh, it's hot. It's very hot. I am gonna kill myself on these chairs. Blah. It's only eight o'clock and I'm so tired. Dog, stop licking me. Good morning, y'all. It, ooh, this hair. Mm. Honestly, I don't even remember what I was saying. I keep sniffing, I keep sniffing. Am I getting sick? <coughs> <coughs> Say bye to your lock.